Here's Dakota Lipsey with another story from the archives of Chronicle of the Old West. The year was 1899. The Old West was wrapping up, and then an event happened that brought it back on the front page of newspapers across the country. On May 30, 1899, a stagecoach was robbed. Nothing new about that. Hundreds had been robbed before, but this time one of the two holdup people was a woman. Her name was Pearl Hart. She was born Pearl Taylor in 1878. Pearl was a small woman who looked very much like a boy. At the age of 16, she married a ne'er-do-well by the name of William Hart. All he cared about was liquor and gambling. Not wanting that kind of life, Pearl left him on several occasions. Wherever she would go, William seemed to show up, swear that he had changed and then Pearl would take him back. He would spend whatever money she had and then they would separate. In 1893, she and her husband worked at the Columbian Exposition in Chicago. Annie Oakley performed in the show and Pearl became enthralled with the Wild West. Finally, in 1898, she left her husband and eventually ended up in Phoenix, Arizona, where she worked as a waitress. Pearl met another man, also of less than stellar character. The man's name was Joe Boot. By now, Pearl had become streetwise. Although she maintained the persona of a naive victim, she talked Joe into joining her in a stage robbery. Pearl was able to convince him that it would be easy and no one would get hurt. So they robbed the stage that ran between Florence and Globe, Arizona. The holdup went well. They came away with about $400 and a couple of pistols. But that's where going well ended. After leaving the robbery scene, Pearl and Joe got lost. It started raining and they had to spend a wet night under a tree. The next morning they were awakened by a rifle poking them in their ribs. It was the sheriff's posse. Pearl immediately realized she was a celebrity and she started telling her story with a flair. She even got the woman's suffrage movement behind her by saying, I shall not consent to being tried under a law which my sex had no voice in making. While awaiting trial, she escaped from jail. Sensing future problems, the local sheriff decided not to go after her. But when Pearl got to Deming, New Mexico, the local authority recognized her from an article that appeared in Cosmopolitan magazine and returned her to Arizona. Although the passengers and stage driver positively identified Pearl, the jury deliberated just 10 minutes before returning a verdict of not guilty. The judge was infuriated. Since one of the passengers' derringer was found in her possession, she was tried for stealing a gun. This time, she was found guilty and sentenced to five years in prison. Incidentally, Joe Boot got 30 years. Pearl became such a pain while in prison that after a year and a half, she was pardoned. According to the Yuma Territorial Prison, she was five foot three, weighed 100 pounds, and wore size two and a half shoe. But I can tell you, she was 100 pounds of pure dynamite. I'm Dakota Livesay with Chronicle of the Old West. Thanks, Dakota. For more information, visit ForTheOldWest.com.